it basically can do that. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm about to pull out the M79 grenade launcher. Yes, I made a launcher out of grenades. Judge me? Why don't you? I know you already have. Hey, think about this. Imagine if I put that lawn chair in a cannon and I pulled the pin out of the grenades. I mean, all of them. At the same time. Using a string. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Alright. Oh, nope. There he is. The backstabbing bastard himself. BB King. No offense, BB King. You're a great guitarist. It's just... BB King's like the only guy who shared his name. Alright, where are you, BB? Where are you, BB King? Yeah, I made a, f a, a, a makeup joke. I can make makeup jokes if I want to. By female watchers. Probably not. I might. A female or two might watch this. I know one that maybe will. Hey, my friend. But I have a friend in over. Sorry, did I just kill BB? Oh no, all of his guys have this weapon. Yeah, the jackhammer. The jackass hammer. Nice one, BB. BB! Come on, BB, baby! Come on! You know, I really hate people who refuse to see the inevitable. Refuse to do the smart thing. I really hate people who just don't effing dot. Where'd he go? He went around this corner. No, I must do the right thing. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you over the sound of me waylaying you with bullets. BB, would you like another chance at redemption? A payphone started to ring. Pay uh, Max must have super hearing, because all I can hear is car alarms. Max Payne, now with supersonic hearing. I hear a cat 15 miles away. That payphone isn't even... Oh, now I can hear it. Well, give me a moment, Max, alright? I know there's some stuff around here. As I do believe. Ammo, come on. How can you how can you give up on ammo, Max? Ammo is essential for our Well, our escapades. Ice capades! <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Oh, anyway, let's go answer the phone that mysteriously starts ringing and I answer it for some odd reason. Yeah. Max Payne. Whatever does it for you. This is Alfred Wooden. I can give you the name of your enemy. Come to the Asgard building presently. We are expecting you. I think Alfred Woden has some sort of magic powers because he can tell where I am at all times and find the phone that I'm closest to. Woden was waiting for me on the steps of the old building. Mr. Payne, let's go inside. The others are anxious to begin. The others? Despite the general misconception, this building actually predates the City Hall by two years, thus being the oldest municipal building still in use here at the foot of the Brooklyn Bridge. No kidding. The old man played tour guide as he led me through a dark, domed hall. The answers I was after loomed large ahead. Mr. Payne, I would like to introduce you to my colleagues in what we call the Inner Circle. You've been watching too much X-Files. You have seen the files on Project Valhalla. We can fill the gaps, provide you with the information missing from those files. We were all involved in the early stages of the project during the Gulf War. What's the catch? We would very much like to blow this thing wide open, but our hands are tied. Her name is Nicole Horn. She was the key figure in Project Valhalla. When the funding was discontinued, she simply refused to quit. She knew exactly what she had in her hands. Nicole Horn is the president of Acer Corporation. 
She has more than half the city in her pocket. This must be kept under wraps. If you try to go public with this, we will deny any knowledge. We need you to take her out. Afterwards, we can protect you. Make all the charges go away. That was the cue for the killer suits to kick in the doors and swarm inside. It was an impressive floor show, but I decided to leave early anyway. It was only a one-story fall. Lucky me. Wow, this is, um... Huh, I've never seen this before. They didn't actually let you run around out here in the PS2 version. That's, uh... That's interesting. They just had you run down here, and then you started here. Alright, oh, let's quick save our games. My game. Over here? Over here. You know what you should do? You should find a new radio system that I can't hear. Because it's really screwing up your... Oh, you commandos decided to come back to the park, didn't you? You guys want a second chance at the pain? It's okay. I'll give you another chance at the pain. I'll give you 30 more chances at the pain. In case you didn't catch that, that's how many bullets I have in my Colt Commando. That went absolutely beautiful! Yay! That was the best, that was the best one I ever did. Alright. Reloading. Colt Commandoing. The window. Alright. This is a very unsafe stairway. But whatever. This is a safety code violation. I'm gonna have to issue a 119. What's that? It's the code in which I made up for this show. Whatever 119 is in um, building manufacturing, uh, please tell me in the comment section if you know. And if you had to Google it, then so be it, but please tell me. Because if you Googled it, then I'm just going to say, well, I could have done that myself. One of the monitors showed what was left of the inner circle. I done that myself. I'll look at the monitor real quick. Alright, let's see what's going on. On screen, the so-called corpse of Alfred Woden stood up, miraculously waking from his dirt nap, looking smug among his dead pals. In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. I didn't know how he'd pulled it off, but it was a pretty slick way to get out of all his promises. Most of what he had said fit too well to be a load of crap. I just noticed something. This is the first time I've been full on painkillers. That is amazing. Everyone, give a round of applause for Krevy. Quickly. Now. And if you didn't do it before that guy shot me, then you're too late. I thought that was a grenade. I thought you were actually using some... Ladies and gentlemen, the most trained commandos I've ever seen. So trained they can run into their own Molotov cocktails. These men are geniuses, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, what? I'm sorry. You came out of absolutely nowhere. All right, I still got health. Okay, so we'll help you. Go ahead, run back into your fire. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. He's done it again. Magnificent, sir. You are you 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 are the role model for all our children today. You have all the talents. Oh, which elevator? I was behind you. If this was Metal Gear, you wouldn't have known until I shot you with the first bullet. 
Let's do this. Wrong button. Or key. I know that a lot of PC buffs out there are like, that's not a button, it's a key. Not a button, it's a key. I don't know what that was. Is there just, like, lag for a moment? Shite! Shiza! I don't know. Oh, that makes sense. Let's see if I can't sneak behind him. You know everything! You must be stopped. He knows everything. Hey! Bad. That's not nice. Putting holes in elevators. I'm doing well. I jinxed myself, ladies and gentlemen. This man's gonna jump down commando style, and we're gonna kill him! Let's see if we can't get up. I'm sorry, is it just me or is that elevator shaft look like it's made with wood? That's not safe. Ladies and gentlemen, these commandos are the best grenade throwers I've ever seen. Next to me, of course. Alright, let's save here. I, I, the reason why I wasn't talking just a second though is I have to sneeze, and I don't want to sneeze, so I'm trying to hold it back. Huh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Three painkillers here. They're expecting me to be hurt by now. I'm actually surprised I'm not. Still surprised I'm not. Blow that up just in case I gotta go back. Which I most likely will. I got lucky I didn't get shot there. Right? Well, let's take care of everyone else in this room. I don't know if there's a guy over here or not. I know there's a guy around one of these corners with a grenade launcher. Oh. Nope. There's just a grenade launcher. Alright, well, let's check out the news, because everything's about Max today. And what is your answer to those saying that he's actually providing a service long overdue to the city? This crusade nonsense has gone too far. He's out of control. It must stop. He will be stopped. That was Deputy Chief Jim Rivera from the New York City Police Department. Oh, come on, Jim. I'm doing you a favor here. Max Payne must be stopped. Yeah, my ass. You want to know something, Jim? I'm doing you a public service here by by giving you giving you a break and not having to eliminate the scum in this city. I've already killed pretty much the entire mob. Now I'm working my way up to the commandos that work for Nicole Horn. I mean, I rooted out one of the most evil DEA agents ever. BB. Cream. Sauce. Cream sauce, yes. I want some cream sauce. I want some pasta with some cream sauce. A videotape lay on the desk. Alright. Nicole Horn had blackmailed the inner circle into silence. The tape came with a curt extortion note on a piece of expensive paper. I remembered Candy Dawn taping her clients in action on the side, selling the tapes to the highest bidder. I was sure that kinky sex was nowhere near Alfred Woden's worst sin. But I had a feeling that when this was over, any collateral would come in handy. Yeah, Max, just put the porn tape in your jacket. It'll go into oblivion. Hey, look, everyone! A fax machine! Wow. Remember when people actually used to use fax machines? Alright, anyway. Woden had left me a present. Well. Woden had taken care of my mission preps with military precision. The critical areas in the Acer Corporation headquarters blueprints were circled in red. The president's office was at the top of the building, right below her penthouse suite. The elevators were controlled by a security computer, part of the mainframe located underground below the building. 
The high rise was sealed as tight as a sci fi fortress. Okay. Uh, I want to know something real quick. Alright, let's look at this TV then, I'll ask it. Nothing seems to stop Acer Corporation's phenomenal victory march. Incredibly, the stocks are still rocketing. Worried experts already see a danger in the company's success. Some have gone as far as to say that Acer Corporation is about to become an even bigger monopoly than Microsoft ever was. Okay, anyway, so let me, let me ask this question. Acer is supposed to be a big uh, building, company building. Why does Nicole Horn have a presidential suite and a penthouse in that office building? Normally, the CEOs of companies don't live in the building that they work. That's what I want to know. Lights, oh, whatever. Let's just go. You know what I'm engaging? I'm engaging your face off! Whoa. You know what? I don't care what you say. I'm going back for those pills. You don't want to watch me go back for the pills? Well, skip. Anyway, let's jump over this here bomb here before it goes kablooey in our faces. Running through the hallways, then through the office. This is a very nice couch. I forgot to mention that. Even though, actually, it's very well textured. This is actually a very well textured couch for a uh, 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 game this era. From the era that it was in, whatever. This generation of console that it was in. Or generation of. Engaging hostile. Yeah, whatever. That's the best way to ex exclaim it. Exclaim it. I will exclaim it from the rooftops. I hate cookies. <laughs> Go ahead, guys. Go ahead. Top job, guys. Very good. Very good breach and clear. You breach and I cleared you all the way out. Okay, um... Why are there so many doors I can go through? That's what I wanna know. Wait a minute. This hallway looks familiar. Actually, no, it doesn't anymore. Huh. I thought it did. Whatever. Let's continue on. What's this? In pursuit of the intruder. Ah! That's, that's nice. Some a-hole with an M79 grenade launcher wants to. Okay. Is it just me, or did that running around in a circle make you dizzy? Cause that made me dizzy, and I'm dizzy now. <laughs> 